What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Jake's Take. I'm Jake. Um, got a big day going on today. Uh, gonna go clean some boats with scuba gear. So I got the van loaded up with my tanks and all my gear and stuff. I'm gonna show you how I do it, how I get in the water and uh, get under the boats and I'm able to make some money scuba diving. So first gotta stop, pick up some uh, fresh scrapers and scrub brushes and then we're gonna get on underneath the boats, change some zincs, scrub some bottoms. It's gonna be great. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Alright, so I got two uh, two putty knives, putty knives uh, for scraping and I also have an extra bunch of brushes and stuff too that my mom gave me to help me uh, clean the bottoms of the boats and all. I use the plastic ones because it's easier on the bottom paint and um, also got a bunch of gummy, gummy bears. I highly suggest you get gummy bears before you do this because uh, it's a lot of hard work and you're going to need some gummy bears for it. There's supposed to be a big storm coming and it's going to get pretty bad. So I'm trying to get underneath the water as soon as possible so I'm not out of the water and in the storm. We'll see how that works. All right, it's gonna be a long time underwater, so make sure you eat more gummy bears for that. And uh, yeah, it gets hot in the wetsuit. This is a five mil wetsuit. And um, yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro camera, so you'll see how that goes. Underwater. So here's the zinc, it's a three inch shaft zinc, Allen wrench. You want the big ones with the T heads because they're gonna be easier to use underwater. Um, if you get smaller ones, it just makes the job so much harder. You wanna take them apart above the water first. See there's two, uh, two screws on each side. Once you get them all apart, I lay everything out on the dock um, right by the water. So I can just come up, grab a zinc, go back down, Throw it on. Mix the job a lot easier. All right, so we got this type of zinc next. Um, these things go on the trim tabs. They're just sandwich um, on the trim tabs. Pretty simple to put on. I will say this, they're really easy to put on. The hardest thing is to get the old ones off. So yeah, be prepared for that. You guys can see the storm coming. It's not looking good all up there. Gotta get in the water fast. So this is the uh, last zinc here. It's a plate zinc. It goes right on the back of the boat. And there's just two through bolts that come out of the boat and go right through here. And um, bolt right on, it's pretty simple. Every boat is different. Pretty much every boat has different zincs. Um, everybody has different zincs and different ways of uh, putting them on. And so it's, if the owner doesn't know, you know, it's important to go underneath there and, and check first to see what you're, see what you're up against. Alright, so I'm going to show you the rudder gear, specifically the rudders. And I cleaned one, and what is not cleaned, that's where those uh, pancakes go scored. So I'll show you what that looks like. Thank 
can't see that. Alrighty, so as you can see, the weather got pretty bad on land, so that's why I'm getting ready to get back in the water. I'm on my second boat. The other boat um, just did the uh, zincs and cleaned the uh, running gear and some of the intake crates and stuff like that. As you can see, I have all my zincs laid out and my uh, cleaning supplies, regulator, everything. I said it looks ready to go. New tank, new air. Here's the boat I'm doing right here. And, um,. So, yeah, ready to get back in the water, ready to get this all finished up. Alright, it is the next day, I did finish up last night, uh, ran out of air. So here, it's the morning of the next day, and I had to cut the pancake zincs off of the runners with this hacksaw. So I'll show you where they go. Really hard. I got a lot of it scrubbed. I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like. It's not finished yet, but it's really hard to show you because it's so dark out there. So, I'll show you kind of what it looks like right now. All the zigs are on. Good bit of screw left, but most of the hard stuff's off. I figured right now is the best time to show you because the current's running fast and the water's kind of clear. But it's definitely very dark. Alright. So, uh, pretty messy down there. I'm going to show you guys what, uh, one clean side looks like and one dirty side looks like.
So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, cleaning bombs and boats is a lot of hard work and it's not for everybody. So, if you have a boat and you want to get it cleaned, you should call me, Beautiful Bottoms. Um, I will leave my contact information below. <laughs> and, um, yeah, any other questions you have about it? or anything else you'd like to know, let me know in the uh, comments below. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Come here. Do you want to say, say something? You got to say something. Beautiful bottoms. The way to go. Clean your boat. <laughs>